Chinnamma Devi, Queen of Vijayanagara. The Tungabhadra was in spate, the rains better than ever. The breeze from the river, now habitual visitor. At ten each night, the curtains would lift on a precious zanana. Lover of the queen, the river sang. Chinna Devi sat in abstract silence. The red dot that adorned her hand bordered an enriched terracotta wall. She was Sita in decadent unsettledness. Prisoner of her own accord, queen of Vijayanagara, dancer at heart. Soon it would be time for Mahanavami. Durga would be worshipped in every possible human form. Memory brought Bibhatsa. Twenty dancers would dance on the dusty road. With her mighty lover, this dancer would watch alone. Hands moving from Trishula to Anjali to Swastikam. The Dasra Dibba would come alive again. Nine days and nine nights. The poor would rejoice, arms be given, kindness thrust upon sultans unknown. Her legs spread, the queen sat, a courtesan in every thigh. The hair soaked in blood, curled, beggars in every papilla. The breeze tonight sang of yesterday, of a far away Matunga asleep. All summer she had danced on those stones. Bare feet burnt, as her lover in disguise, a future king, watched. Purandasa had sung, while the rain poured. A hundred and fifty-year-old Champa in the Vitala temple blossomed. Tonight her old friend slept with the Vijayanagara Jyoti as its crown. The Andhra Bhoja, third ruler of the Tulava, Krishna Devaraya, would be awake still. And yet he had not called her. Just beyond the dot on her hand, a red dirt road stretched. The neem had turned yellow. From another unadorned street on another wall, another queen sat, and then another. Like prisoners of time, dolls of passion gone mute, barefoot of dance, laughter, and shringar, they held court over His Highness's groins. The Varaha sun, moon, and the dagger flew strong in every temple pillar. How they mocked her tonight. In the corridors of courtesans, sleep is uneasy, frightening even. Growing placid, almighty, and a queen became a morning ritual soon. She had shrunk her feet and grown three breasts. Fine silk smoldered her thighs in the corner of her tiny feet, an anklet somehow survived. Every night the curtain sang Rag Biraha, the price of a crown too high. The right thigh twitched. Desire ran down empty halls of a stone empire. Nimble shadows ran on dusty roads, down to the courtesan's lane of familiarity and songs. Her home lay empty and lit every night. Somewhere there, the smell of jasmine had poured into her lover's vein. Crystallized her anklets, kings and queens they had become. The sultans came and empire looted, Vijayanagara died. On moonlit nights, near empty and broken salumantaps, a courtesan still dances with the Tungabhadra. Matunga echoes her call. Alone Krishna weeps on shy white land. Thank you.